Yeah, as a specialist front rower, obviously 15 was a very uh, detailed area of my consideration. But it, it, was, it was tough because obviously my teammate of Percy Montgomery was one of the uh, one of the centurions that I had to leave out of this team. Um, and he was phenomenal for us. His goal-kicking ability, everything. But I had to go with the Rolls-Royce. There was only one Andre Joubert. He was just silky smooth. He glided. He had a beautiful left foot, which, which you know, I guess as a, 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 a protege of Jake's coaching, I always was forced down to us that a left-footed fullback was always integral to a, to a, a nice right-footed fly-half. So, um, Andre Joubert, the Rolls-Royce, gets the nod at 15, just pipping Percy Montgomery. Okay, Smitty, I must say, um, sorry, Mr. Chairman, um, I must say that, um, uh, Smitty, uh, when you look at Percy Montgomery, um, I would have left him out as well. He was much better off the field than he was on the field, Percy Montgomery. What, <laughs> the outfits he used to wear <laughs> was incredible. Well, I must say... Uh, did that not count? Oh, I thought that there was some key selections in here. Uh, uh, you see, well, the thing that, that, uh, that uh, uh, swatted for me is that I was once in a in a um, change room just before a test match and uh, we were getting ready to leave the change room to start the test match and Monty was just making the last changes to his hairstyle. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I realised in that moment, Timmy, that he could never be in a <laughs> all-time no. greatest 15 team. I, I must say, though, with Andre Jaber, um, a great mate of mine. I played a lot against him in those early sort of mid-90s um, before the game went professional and he was probably one of the only guys in that sort of early 90s team of the Springboks and when you used to go and play Natal, obviously it became the Sharks. We used to go out on a Thursday afternoon and play a game of golf. We'd play nine holes of golf every Thursday if he came to Brisbane to play the Reds or if I went to Durban. We'd just walk around. We're playing against each other in, you know, two, two days' time. And you don't see that anymore, but he was a, a very calm and probably one of the most gifted athletes. Not a gifted rugby player, but probably a, a gifted athlete I've, I've seen. He was. He was incredible. And it was, uh, it, it was interesting to leave uh, Monty out because Monty was just part of such a successful era. But um, I, I played, my first game of golf ever was with Andre Joubert in Zimbabwe. And um, I'll never forget it because I was absolutely useless, probably still am. And uh, Andre Joubert got an eagle on a par five. He went driver three wood into the hole. So the boy, he's got skills.